Hey scholars, let's jump right in. Today we'll be reviewing our decoding, fluency, and spelling. This is Module 1, Cycle 5, Lesson 25. Materials! You'll need paper and pencil to help you review all of our words today. Follow along as I read our learning targets. I can review the long vowel spelling patterns from Module 1. CVCE, or magic E, AI, AY, EA, EE, Y, at the end of a two syllable word. IGH, IE, Y, at the end of a one syllable word. OA, and OW. The second learning target says, I can apply what I've learned to read and write words in isolation and in text. Transition song. Do you know why we learn to read, learn to read, learn to read? Do you know why we learn to read? It's a great question indeed. Do you know why we learn to spell? We learn to spell, we learn to spell. Do you know why we learn to spell? Let's come together and tell. In this first module, we have learned about three different syllable types already. We know about closed syllables. These are the syllables that have a consonant after the vowel. All closed syllables make a short vowel sound. You can see it here in the word not. The second syllable type we learned about is an open syllable. An open syllable does not have a consonant after the vowel. This always makes a long vowel sound. You can see it here in the word no. The third syllable type we learned about is the magic E. The E helps the vowel before it to say its own name. That always makes that long vowel sound. You can see it here in the word note. Word work. We're going to do some review of the spelling patterns we've learned. I'll display some words and I'd like you to read them aloud. Are you ready? Read them with me. Make, paid, play. Read each word as I show it. Read them with me. There's hear, teach, need, happy. Let's take a look at our long I words. Read each one. There they are. Let's read them. Like, night, pie, shy. Here are our long O words. Go ahead and read them. Note, coat, snow. Transition song. It's time to spell and decode to say what we're learning. It's time to spell and decode to show what we've learned. It's time to show how far we've come with our reading ability. I'll display words on the screen. I'd like you to read them the best you can as they appear. Here's the first word. Did you get them all? Let's check. It should say tape, year, meep, flight, tried, great. Great job. We'll do the same thing again here with some two-syllable words. Do your best. Here they are. A 
Let's read them. Happy, pillow, sneaky, tain soak, trach mead. Now we have some high frequency words that we've learned over module one. Read as many as you can. Here they are. Ready, before, only, school, sure, none, friend. That was a lot of decoding. You were awesome. Fluency. Now it's time to review our fluency skills. A fluent reader focuses on reading smoothly, with expression and with meaning, at just the right speed. Do the best you can reading this first passage aloud. Go ahead. I can see the tree. I will go and play by it. I may be late to school. If you did a great job with that one, you're ready to try this second one. Go ahead. Check over it as I read. Last year, my sweet friend Patty lived down the street from the new school. One day, she had a really sore throat, so she did not play in her baseball game. If you did a great job on that one, you're ready for the third passage. Give it a try. If you've made it to this third one, you're a rock star. Check over it with me. She had to eat a lot of ice cream and swallow very slowly. She couldn't even eat regular food. She had to use a spray to make the swelling go down. You are a great fluent reader. I'm so proud of you. Writing. Now it's time to work on writing. I'll say a word out loud, followed by a sentence. Your job is to write out that word using our vowel sounds and syllable types to help you. The first word you'll write is pay. I will pay for my new shoes. Go ahead and spell that word pay. The next word is boat. My dad took me on his boat. Go ahead. Next is keep. I keep working hard even if I make a mistake. Write the word keep. Next is sprain. The doctor told her it was just a sprain. Write that word. The next word is the word lamp light. The lamp light in front of my house felt warm and inviting. Write out the word lamp light. The next word is the word silently. A chipmunk crept silently toward my garden. Try that one. Silently.
Here's the words listed here on the screen. See how you did with each vowel team, syllable type? Were you able to get each sound in the word? Go ahead and review these. I am so impressed. Our final task is to write out this sentence. Here we go. The sentence I would like you to write is, the creek stays quite shallow even after it rains. Think about starting with that capital letter and ending with a period. I'll read it again for you. The creek stays quite shallow even after it rains. The creek stays quite shallow even after it rains. Check your vowel teams. All right, here's the sentence displayed on the screen. Go ahead and check the spelling that you came up with to see if you used the right vowel teams and syllable types. The creek stays quite shallow even after it rains. How did you do? Are you proud of the work you've done? I'm sure you are. Closing Reflection How does getting feedback from an assessment help us set goals? Our review today was an assessment to check in with what we've learned so far. How did it help you set goals? How does setting goals help us to become more proficient readers and writers? Excellent reading and writing in Module 1. Keep it up as we start Module 2 next time. You've made it through a whole module. You've learned so much and made so much progress. Be proud of yourself. I'll see you next time for the start of Module 2.